Hey, it's Norm from Tested.com. I'm here at Maker Faire 2015 in this dark room with so many lights, but I was drawn to these lights in particular. This is Looking Glasses L3D. I'm with Alex Hornstein, who's the CTO of the company. Now, Alex, this is a beautiful, beautiful LED cube, and it's eight by eight by eight, right? That's right, yep. We were interested in how 3D cubes were kind of the simplest volumetric display you've seen out there, you know? And we saw, we've seen this at Maker Faire's for years. We didn't invent these at all, but often, people would bend the wires around and have to do an awful lot of soldering, like hundreds of hours of soldering to get a cube this size. So what we designed, the innovation, was putting these LEDs onto a surface mount pick and placeable circuit board. And this let robots make our boards for us, and then we could start thinking about what you want to show in a 3D display. So you focus, you're able then to focus more on the software and the programming aspects of this, and also build it to scale where you can have eight by eight by eight, or even Bigger. So your interest sounds like it's in volumetric imaging. Like what, what have you explored in terms of that space? Well, we, we started out as a company doing prints. And we started making these small prints that came off a 3D scan. And it's like a little acrylic block that has a little world that you've scanned and put into here. And then uh, we moved into simple 3D displays. We eventually want to have basically a hologram, this dream of holograms. Um, but to date, like the stuff we've done that's public are the prints and then the 8x8x8 eight by eight by cubes and that 16x16x16 16 by 16 by 16 cube over there. 16x16x16, 16 by 16 by 16, that's, you know, it, it sounds like a lot of resolution, but can we compare that to an image you see on a computer monitor or a phone? It's not a lot at all, so what type of imagery can you program? You have wonderful animations here, but can you actually make out images? And, and based on your research, how, how dense does that have to be to get real holograms? Sure, so I mean, what's interesting is with static images, it can be really hard with a limited resolution display like these to really make out what's in like eight by eight pixels. You can make out a letter really well, but beyond that, it's, it's hard to see stuff. So we do move it. movement, can really clue you in on what's going on. When you get up to maybe 16 by 16 by 16, we've done stuff where we show stick figures moving around, and things like that are very clear to see, and it's really neat. We've done um, like stick figures Skype, or you can beam over a stick figure from like here to Hong Kong, and I can see someone wave in Hong Kong, and uh, they, I, they see me wave here. Um, so things like that are quite neat. Movement is really the key to getting engaging interactions at this level of resolution. Are you also thinking about building software to translate, for example, camera imagery uh, into a 3D image, uh, animation? Yes, yeah, so we've done stuff that takes a connect and takes like the, the figure that connect can capture and turns that into a 3D object. Um, and we've done other stuff where we can take uh, 3D models and break it down into some the best it can possibly show in something like this, uh, which is very neat. And it's kind of an interesting field of software is how to take complex objects and represent them with really limited resolution. That's awesome. And I know you guys launched, you said you launched a Kickstarter for the L3D uh, last summer. You guys are shipping now, so people can buy these. If someone buys an L3D, what can they do with it? It comes with pre-programmed animations, but can they also put their own animations inside it? Yeah, so these cubes are fully open source and programmable. So off the, out of the box, uh, these cubes come as a kit. It takes 30 minutes to put together. And then they run this, this demo loop that we're seeing here um, and loop through several different demos. Then if someone wants to change, we have a site called CubeTube, like YouTube for cubes. Uh, and you can browse through animations the community puts up, click on them and beam it over Wi-Fi to your cube. And then all, everything on there is open source. So if you wanted to build off of someone else's work or write your own, you can just fork someone's code or start from scratch and create anything you want, really. That's so awesome. Thank you so much, Alex, for sharing with us the L3D. Uh, we've seen you guys at Make It Prepared before, but you guys have kind of pivoted and done this. I think it's way more vibrant, something that's eye-catching, and I can't, see what you guys, can't wait to see what you guys come up with next. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's a pleasure talking with you. We'll see you next time. Bye.